Despite the biting economic realities bedeviling Nigeria as a whole, this 30-year-old physically challenged resident of Lami Dobornu in Ardokola local government area of Taraba State has defied all odds to embrace farming as a means of livelihood in order to support her family. Talatu was born this way, but her condition worsened when she was struck by thunder at age 16. According to her, disability is not an excuse to become unproductive. Farming for her has become a hobby, as her condition does not permit her to step out to the market, streets, or for visitation, even as she solicits for assistance of at least a wheelchair to make life worthwhile for her. It is the will of God that a thunderstrike has made me the way I am today. I was only outside when it was raining and the incident happened. My father took me to several medical facilities, but no solution. I lost my father a few years ago and feeding became a big problem for me and my family members. I cannot stay without doing anything. If given the opportunity, I would like to have a large farmland because where I farm outside our compound was leased to me because of my condition. Haruna Galadima is her guide and reveals that she is a passionate farmer despite her condition and requires support to not just feed her family but to also boost food security in Taraba State. I saw two things in her, her condition and in the farm, what she's doing. It prompted me to pick an interest in her. Based on interview I did for her, she told me that where she was farming, she rented the place. So if government can render an assistance to such person by providing a very big land for her with fertilizer and all kind of uh, farm tools that she can open a kind of farm that will sustain her for the rest of her life. Fortunately, help has come her way in form of a wheelchair by the Taraba State Chairman of Algon. Says there is ability in disability, and the state government is willing to facilitate more assistance, especially in terms of encouraging her to embrace mechanized farming in order to improve her livelihood. I think whatever we give to that lady is not too much because she deserves it. These are the kind of people we need to encourage not only the lady, but all the disabled people that find themselves in that position. So we should not look down upon them, but we should always send our own hands of fellowship to support them as I went do. Not only to give them peanuts as our own support, but give them what we call a sustained support that will stand the test of time, that will even help them to stand independently and even support their family. He describes her as a shining example of a hard-working person who has not resorted to arms begging. I have been seen around me, within our locality, within our neighborhood, people that are able not agreeing to do what exactly that lady is doing. And I want to believe, as individuals, philanthropic organizations, government, we need to encourage people like her and others to go back to the farm which will go a long way in increasing or boosting our food production as a people and indeed as a local government or as a state. Similarly, the member of the House of Representatives representing Karim Lamido, Lao, an Ardokola federal constituency, Honorable Mohamed Lauya, represented alongside the National Council for Women's Society, are also in the community to support her with farm inputs and other items. The life of Talatu is a life that touch everybody. It's a life that gives any human being lessons. Who so even the devil knows that this woman is trying. It has taught, taught us a lot of lessons. Mm. You as a woman, it is not good for you to sit at home and keep lamenting that the situation in the country now is so hard that people hardly, hardly get three square mail a day. So why can't you come out like Talatu? Farmer Talatu is also hoping that the state government will look beyond her condition to enroll all persons living with disability into its health insurance scheme for inclusiveness.